Hey guys, we finally did it. We added a PVE only sector to our server and we are going to walk you through it. The first thing you do to start here is of course log into our server and you will be at the lobby of our server. This is the lobby. Every time you spawn here, you get this whole, you know, welcome to Draconis Expands, starter sectors this way, suit spawns that way. Read all these LCDs and then continue on. You get to the suit spawns. Notice, not for new players. If you are a new player, do not go to the suit spawns. Go to the other door, big green, new players this way. Follow that sign. Go down the hallway, read some LCDs on how to hang in your grids, which you should always do, and how to uh, use some of these commands. This is the new part of the lobby. We have PvP zones and PvE zones. So you can choose to go to the PvP zone spawns as a new player. This gives you a rock hopper in space, and this is PvP enabled. These are the normal spawns that are on our server, and then here are the PvE spawn, which is there's this one right now, which is the Janna ring world. If you look up Janna in the expanse lore, we modeled it after that. You can come into our new spawn area for the PvE sector. You have a nice depiction of what we're about to be doing, <laughs> landing on a planet, and then go ahead and click this button. After a loading screen, you will be falling towards the planet. So this is Janna. It is modeled after Creo, which is on the workshop. If you want to take a look at that, we got permission from the mod author to use it. This is much like a vanilla start where you are falling towards the surface in a pod that deploys a parachute. Once you get to the surface or once you get to 500 meters, the parachute will deploy automatically so you don't have to freak out and worry about any of that. And then you will have a perfect landing just like we're watching here. And the landing gears will stick and the parachute will stop. After that, you want to proceed much like a regular vanilla spawn. So you want to grab some tools, grab some other random stuff and go looking for ore that you need. So you can mine stone or you can mine ore and unlike the rest of our server, you can actually mine with your hand drill. Please read this LCD. The main drive is damaged and you have to repair it to get the ship flying again. And then here is a nice little guide to what is happening to you as you spawn. So first things we're going to do is jump out and look at our awesome ship designed by Germstorm and Spud Voucher. They collabed on this and absolutely killed it. I'm going to change the time of day because I'm an admin so I can see what I'm doing and I'm going to turn off my creative mode tool so I have the actual experience that you guys are having. Cool thing is all you have to do to make this functional is just weld it. You don't need to have anything in your inventory. Everything is already in there. It's just not functional just to weld it up and then you can repair it like I'm doing here. All, everything you need to fully repair this is already in the inventory for your ship. Skipping ahead, it's now fully repaired and now we're going to go find some ore. Like I said, you can use your jetpack on this uh, planet because it's only 0.3G and you can mine with your hand drill unlike on the other planets on our server. Be aware though, there are voxel resets every three days. It doesn't matter if your base is around it or if you're underground, your base will be put inside of the planet. If you build an underground base, do not build an underground base. We will not come bail you out. So the first thing we need is some iron. So we're gonna go find that. We're gonna drill down much like in regular vanilla space engineers. And we're gonna bring that back to our refinery. So flying that ore that we just mined back to our ship and all you have to do is throw it into the cargo and turn on the refinery. The refinery is off by default to save power. This thing doesn't have a lot of power. So we're going to fix that right now by adding a wind turbine. Everything you need to build a wind turbine and a solar panel are already in this ship. So I'm going to make some room for it. There's a bunch of room on the outside of the ship. It's got to grind some things off and you can add multiple wind turbines, multiple solar panels, whatever you need to get started. This is just like a vanilla space engineer's experience. Honestly, it's even easier because you're in a large grid instead of a small grid, so you don't have to worry about doing anything like that. You have a basic assembler and a basic refinery already ready to go. 
and a bunch of comps to build and grind off and repair and Frankenstein this into whatever you need. So next thing you're going to do is just place this wind turbine just to give this thing some power, make sure we don't run out of battery, etc, etc. And that is pretty much it for the planet spawn. After this, you are free to do what you want. This uh, is just a good first step to do, uh, and then go ahead and play the game however you want after this. Now we're going to go take a look at the space spawn for the Janus system. So. Instead of going to the left teleporter, which takes you to the planet, we're going to the Janna Asteroids spawn, which is to the right. All you gotta do is walk over there and just like the other one, push this yellow button. And it'll automatically, after a couple loading screens, put you into the main cockpit on this ship. So what you want to do is, just like the other one, read the LCD, and of course there's no gravity on this one, and go outside and repair your drive so you can fly around using your main drive instead of RCS. There are tools in the cargo, just like the other starter pod. Go ahead and go to the bottom. All you have to do is weld the drive and it'll automatically become functional. Go back in, jump in the cockpit, and let's start looking for some asteroids. So we have a really cool mod on our server called the Prospector mod. If you open the G menu and get to the ore detector and drop it onto your hotbar, you can toggle active scanning and toggle data review mode. And so once you turn on active scanning, it'll scan asteroids within a certain radius. And then once you get close enough, it will actually show the ore that is on the asteroids. So you don't have to fly right next to them with your ore detector. You know, we're definitely beyond that in our technological advantage and uh, progression on our server. So one of these asteroids looks good. We're just going to fly over next to it. And we are going to do a flip and burn. Your RCS on the front will be very slow. You will need to use the main drive to stop. So it's a great tutorial for new players. Flip around. Use the nav ball in the lower right of your toolbar. You can see the cross is directly in the middle, which means I'm facing directly in the right direction of my inertia. And just turn on your dampeners and your main drive will do the rest. Look how fast you decel if you actually do a flip and burn instead of flying like vanilla space engineers. I'm gonna turn off my drive and then just use my RCS to get close. And then go ahead and start mining like a normal space engineers start just grab some stone, throw it in your refinery to get started. A PVE sector was the most requested new player feedback in our new player feedback thread. So we are giving it to you and it is as close to vanilla starting experience as we can give you. We're making this really easy. All you have to do is everything you would do in a normal vanilla space engineers start. So after we mine some stones, we're going to uh, then take our solar panel comps. Everything you need to make a solar panel is already in your starter ship. So just go ahead and grab your solar panel and slap it on the side of this ship to get some power. So I finally found a good spot for it. There we go. Now I'm just going to weld it up and voila, that is your space start. Super easy, super straightforward. There's no spawn timer on these spawn ships, so you can run into asteroids as many times as you want while you're learning how to fly in a directional way instead of using the vanilla dampener thrusters in all directions type thing. And that is the space start. Next thing we're going to do is look at the trade stations that are in the PVE sector. This is the Alpha Burkut station. It is in the JN1 asteroid field that players spawn in. It was designed by Agent Hound, who is one of our player builders, and it's incredible. Super awesome trade station with actuals, kind of like spin gravity, and I love that he included this under construction section because in the lore, this system is recovering from a nuclear war. So inside, you have actual spin gravity, so the gravity is facing down here, and then as you go up this ladder, you go through a zero G section to get to the main area of the station where you have your trade stores. Uh, you can sell ore to the station and you can buy heavy motors and you can buy gas. 
Love the detail he added with the cool like communications and the floating like ceiling in the middle there. Really, really cool. Next up is Port Janna by Spud Voucher. This is the trade station that is on the surface of the planet. It has huge landing pads for players and it also has a rover dock underneath, which is really great because you can build rovers on this server and use them to trade and get around the new player planet. So just looking at how many rover docks are there, are four rover docks in the bottom. And then if you go up onto the upper level, there are a bunch of small grid rover docks in case you're bumming around in a small grid. Heading into the actual station, you can see there's some wayfinding to go up to the trade plaza. If you go up to the trade plaza, you can see that there are multiple stores. Once again, a Baratinus gas store and an ore store. So you can sell ore to this station as well. And you can buy heavy motors and you can buy fuel from Baratinus gas. Next, we're gonna head to the museum. So there is no way to get any of these weapons in the PVE sector. You have to go into the main server to get these weapons. This is all explained on these LCDs, but what the purpose of the museum is, is to really show players how far you can go on this server and how much progression there is to hunt NPCs and trade tech and all the economy and PVE that we have in the rest of the server, not just the PVE sector. You get to admire how huge these railguns are and how big these PDCs are and how well they're modeled. And there is a little bit of like a tutorial section here that kind of just tells you what in general all of these weapons are for. Once again, you cannot build these weapons in the PVE sector because it's completely PVE. There's no PVP to be had anywhere. You cannot mess with anyone's grid. You cannot grind it. You cannot attack it. You cannot shoot it. You cannot grief it. And of course, but also add some nice habitation modules and every station needs a bar. So of course we have a bar. Heading over to the old Port Jena. So Spud kind of said this is like a monument to the old part of Spud. Port Janna, which is like a dome, and so you kind of have like, you know, the statue of like the first people to make it to Janna, blah blah blah, and like it, it looks really cool, he did a really great job, I love how it's gold. And then on the other side of that are these small docking uh, platforms, so you have some nice smaller pads for people to use. So those are both of the trade stations. And the last thing we are going to show is how to leave Janna and get to the rest of the server. So to leave Janna, you go to the Janna gate, which is in your GPS panel. If you go through Janna gate, it is a one way escort to the soul system. You cannot bring anything into Janna and you cannot come back to Janna without spawning here through the lobby. So there is a little escort that warns you and once you approach the gate GPS, it takes you to the soul system. And that is it for this video on the new Janus system, PVE only sector that we have added to our server. If you want to come try the server, this is the perfect place for you to do it. The link to join is in the description.